Hello there and welcome. I'm Bob Proctor from the Proctor Gallagher Institute, and I've got some information that I think you're going to enjoy. I want to share a bit of a personal story with you and then reveal something that I've discovered that could change your life just like that. Have you ever sat back and watched what a few other people may be doing, the, the extreme success they're enjoying, and at just about the same time feel that maybe success was just slipping through your fingers? If you feel that your success has been slipping through your fingers in your relationships with loved ones, maybe your own children, maybe your business associates, or if you feel success has been slipping through your fingers insofar as your business with your income, if you feel success of any kind has been slipping through your fingers in an area maybe in sports or some area that I have not mentioned, I want you to go immediately. Don't put it off. Don't think you have something else to do. Do it right now. Sit down and take a pen and a pad and focus on that area that you want to change. And I guarantee you, if you can isolate what you want, I can show you how to get it. It's so easy to read in the paper, you see on TV, well, it could be a personality, but it might be a relative or person down the street or maybe somebody you went to school with that you really didn't think was that bright, but they're enjoying tremendous success. And you just seem to be getting the same results all the time. Well, I discovered something. It took nine years of intense research on my own personal part. But when I discovered it, I thought I had the keys to the kingdom. And all I wanted to do was share it with other people. So I'm going to ask you to open your mind a little and really become super honest with yourself. And I believe if you do, I'm going to show you how to get results that stick. Now, this isn't a game we're playing. This is a life that we're living. Many, many years ago, when I was a very young man, a man that became probably the best friend I'll ever have gave me this book. Now, this particular copy I've been reading for the past 52 years. It's Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. Now, it's fairly obvious. I've been reading this book for a long time. Pages are falling out of it. The covers come off it. But I stick with it, and I keep reading it. Now, it's not that I'm such a slow reader. It's just there's so much in this book. And I have found that regardless of what level of success I may enjoy, I can always find how to raise the bar through studying some of Napoleon Hill's material. Now, let me go back to the time I was a little kid. And this is the part I think probably that you'll be able to relate to. I did things I didn't want to do, and yet I was doing them anyway. And I'd get caught, and the teacher would say, why did you do that? I'd say, well, I don't know. Well, what do you mean you don't know? You know better. I know. Why'd you do it? I don't know. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know or I didn't. And I go home and my mother goes through the same deal when I did something. Why did you do that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You know better. I know. Well, why'd you do it? I don't know. I remember I was in the Navy and commanding officer say, Proctor, yes, sir. Why did you do that? I don't know, sir. You know better than that, I know. Why'd you do it? I don't know. You see, all over the world, there's people doing things they don't want to do. It's giving them results they don't want to get, and they do it anyway. Why does that happen? Why is it that an individual will graduate from a prestigious university with a very beautiful degree and yet not capitalize on it? You see people every day who are absolutely brilliant. You know some. You're related to some. They've got degrees coming right off the end of their business card, and they're not making it. They may be broke. If they're in business, the business is stuck. Why does that happen? Well, I found out because of what happened to me reading this book. You see, when I started to read this, 
everything in my life started to change. Now, I was given a directive by the man that gave me the book, Raymond Douglas Stanford, and he said, Bob, if you do exactly what I tell you, until you find out I'm lying or I don't know what I'm talking about, he said, you'll get results that shock you. Now, I've got to tell you, up to that point, I had been going down many roads, and they were all wrong roads. I was 26 years old. I had never held a half-decent job. I was earning $4,000 a year, and I owed $6,000. I, um, I just wasn't making it. I was stuck. And it had always been that way. And I didn't know how to change it. I wanted to, and I didn't know how. And he said, do exactly what I tell you. Well, you know, from the time I picked this up to one year later, my income changed and my life changed like night and day. Now, do you know, it's almost like daytime becoming night. You don't really notice it happening. You just notice, my goodness, it's dark out already. Well, that's the way my life changed. And I went from earning $4,000 a year, which was the most I had ever earned up to that point, and I took it up to $175,000 a year. Now, you may be wondering, what was I doing? Because I'm going way back to 1961. I found out that it really doesn't matter what you're doing. Well, it does, but for the most part, it doesn't. What matters is how you're doing it. You see, when I read that book, I set a goal. I wanted to have $25,000. I gave myself a decade to do it. I really didn't believe it would happen. And I started cleaning floors on the side after my normal job just to make a couple extra dollars. I ended up cleaning floors in Toronto, Montreal, Boston, Cleveland, Atlanta, London, England. My income shot up to over five million. And I didn't know what I was doing. I had to figure it out. And I sat down and I started to think, what happened? I had been raised to believe much the same as you've been raised to believe. If you're gonna earn a lot of money, you've gotta be really smart. But you know something? I knew I wasn't very smart. And I'm not putting myself down. I just knew I wasn't very smart. But I was earning a lot of money. Now, I'd also been raised to believe if you're going to have a good job or get a good position, you've got to have a good formal education, go to school to get a degree. I didn't go to school. I got kicked out of school after two months in high school. Now, I was happy about it, but so were they. See, I was really a misguided kid. I didn't have any formal education. I didn't have a good position. I owned the company. Now, you've got to admit, that would cause any thinking person to be a little confused. And I couldn't figure out what happened, but I wanted to know. I wasn't satisfied with the fact that I was winning. I wanted to know why I was winning. And so I began to study. And I have never stopped. Now, one thing led to another. And I ended up walking away from my own company and taking a job. I took cut from income from a few hundred thousand a year to $18,000 a year. In 1968, I went to work for the Nightingale Conant Corporation. Now, Earl Nightingale and Lloyd Conant became my personal mentors. And of course, because of my association with them, I became exposed to some absolute giants in the area of personal growth. Now, this is a way back when personal growth as an industry was really just beginning to start. I was selling records when I got into this business, long playing records. But I never stopped studying, and one thing led to the other, and I finally got the dots to connect. And when I got it connect, it was so obvious I was missing it. I want you to let your head represent your mind. Now, first of all, nobody's ever seen the mind. Mind is activity. Mind is not a thing. Your brain is not your mind. Your brain is an electronic switching station that alters the vibration you're in. And the vibration you're in dictates what you attract. But that's another subject. I want you to let the top half of your head represent the conscious mind. The bottom half represent the subconscious mind. Now, it's the conscious mind that school focuses on. That's where we gather all the information. If I could show you a graphic, you would see the conscious mind loaded with books, and the subconscious mind has a paradigm locked up in it. 
Now think of that for a moment. Do you know that your paradigm controls your vibration, it controls what you attract, and it also controls what you do? It literally controls your behavior. If you look outside at your results, your results are nothing but the manifestation of your paradigm. And when you go to change your paradigm, which is something you must do if you want to change results, I'm going to tell you, you're in for the battle of your life. Paradigms do not want to be changed. There's an old saying, I've heard it many times over the years, habits die hard. So you have to ask yourself, what is a paradigm? A paradigm is a multitude of habits. They're ideas that are fixed in your subconscious mind, and when all brought together, they're called paradigms. So the paradigm is like a cybernetic mechanism. It's a control system in your subconscious mind. And the wisest among us sometimes do not understand that. So they don't understand how to change it. Do you see, unfortunately, school doesn't teach this to us. If you're having trouble in school, they tell you, study some more. And so you pile some more information. But that doesn't change the behavior. If the teachers, if the parents only understood the report card is a reflection of the paradigm, not a reflection of the information that that student has gathered. If the sales manager only understood that the sales sheet is a reflection of the salesperson's paradigm, not what they know about selling. You see, people will study selling. They'll, they'll study practice and uh, presentations. They study overcoming objections. And they study closing. And they get it right down to a science. But when they get in front of a prospect, the paradigm takes over. Well, you see, when I learned this, I thought I had made a breakthrough, and I had. But it was much bigger than I thought. I went into companies, and I started to show the companies how Paradigms was controlling the productivity in that company, regardless of the size. And one of the first large contracts I had was with the Prudential of America. And almost simultaneously with the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company, they are the two largest insurance companies in the world. And I was showing the agents how to change paradigms. And you know their sales went up by hundreds of millions of dollars. And I'm not exaggerating. This is all documented. I'm not making up some funny story. This is on the books of the Prudential of America. One retired VP said he thought that Procter raised the sales by a billion dollars. Now, I worked all throughout the company. I've worked with companies all over the world, showing the employees how to alter the paradigm. See, employees are the most important thing to a company. Now, companies don't always seem to recognize that. They spend a lot of money on systems, on buildings, on brick and mortar, and on things. The next time you go into a hotel, think of this. If we took all the staff out of a hotel, from the chambermaid to the general manager, you wouldn't have a hotel any longer. You just have a brick and mortar edifice, a building full of stuff. You see, the hotel is the people. I was recently staying in the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. If you ask an employee where something is, they don't tell you, they show you. They have a motto, we are ladies and gentlemen serving ladies and gentlemen. Well, I want you to stop and really think of your results. And then ask yourself, do I know how to get better results? Oh, you do. I'm talking about from relationships, to selling, to building your business. If you feel and without any formal education, without any real business experience, I built a pretty successful company. And I have been building successful companies and helping companies change, build bigger companies for 46 years now. There might be one or two people that are still alive that have been longer than me. You see, I'm going to be 80 on my next birthday. But you want to know something? I got as much energy as a person in their 30s or 40s. And I'm going to tell you why. I understand who I am. I understand how to express the higher side of my own personality. See, we don't get energy. We release energy. And desire is the triggering mechanism to release the energy. Well, I can show you. I can show you how to alter the paradigm. I'll help you understand how it was built. Because it's genetic. It was started right at the moment of conception. When all of mom's DNA and all dad's DNA came together and formed the nucleus of you. 
And then 280 days later, you made your great debut on this planet and you were programmed environmentally. I'm going to show you how to change it. I'm going to show you how to take the knowledge you've already got and compound your results. Turning your annual income to a monthly income, it's doable. I can show you how to do it. I'm not exaggerating, not even a bit. It's shocking when you stop and think about what you're capable of doing. Edison one time said, if we all did what we were capable of, we would astonish ourselves. You know something? I think it's time we started to astonish ourselves. See, at the Proctor Gallagher Institute, we give you information that produces results that stick. It's not a blip on the screen. I feel good so it goes up, but it comes back down. Mm -mm. We're going to show you how to change that automatic pilot that's lodged in your subconscious mind. We're going to show you how to alter that paradigm and how to consciously and deliberately build the paradigm that will produce the results automatic that you seriously want. I just love this material. I absolutely love it. And I love sharing it. I love watching people change right before my eyes in seminars. I don't have any special talent and ability. I've just got some phenomenal information that I've gathered over the past 52 years. And you can have it. If success has been slipping through your fingers, you can stop it right now. And you can produce the results you want, results that stick. This is Bob Proctor. Thank you.